But first, more on the charges in the Denila Watkins killing. The child was shot last March while in the van with her father on the city's south side. ABC 7's Sarah Solti is live from the city's south side with more on this breaking story. Sarah? Well, Sylvia, knowing the police were looking for him, Coleman Willis turned himself in to hear to the area's central headquarters on Saturday with his attorney. At about 2.45 this afternoon, he was charged with first-degree murder. Willis is a gang member, and he has 37 arrests on his record. The police say the shooting was not gang-related. Only six months old, Janila Watkins' murder captured national headlines as she became another innocent face of Chicago's gun violence. Janila was killed with a single bullet while sitting on her father's lap in a parked minivan in Chicago's Woodlawn neighborhood. Two months after the shooting, police say they have the killer. 33-year-old Coleman Willis was charged after police received a break in the case last week. We were able to identify witnesses last week that we had not identified earlier in the investigation. Um, they provided some key information that started the ball rolling. Police say Janila's father, Jonathan Watkins, was the intended target. While he and Willis are known gang members, investigators say the motive for the shooting was not gang-related. Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy says the shooting was motivated by retaliation over a stolen video game system. Jonathan Watkins was involved in a burglary uh, where the uh, offender in this shooting uh, was the victim of that burglary. At the beginning of the case, McCarthy says it was difficult to get Jonathan Watkins to cooperate. McCarthy credits Pastor Corey Brooks for helping Watkins help police. Brooks has been speaking for Jonathan and his wife, Judy. The family is, um, they spent the day uh, at the grave site, and um, I called Jonathan and Judy uh, before coming here, and um, they're very grateful and thankful. Um, hopefully, um, they'll be able to put this part behind them. Pastor Brooks says that Jonathan and Judy Watkins will answer reporters' questions tomorrow at a press conference. Meantime, Superintendent Gary McCarthy says that Watkins will not be charged with that, is likely not to be charged with that burglary that motivated the shooting. Live at 51st and Wentworth, Sarah Schulte, ABC 7 News. Sylvia, back to you. Okay, thank you, Sarah.